Hi everyone, today I'd like to go over what I've been using for study material for my CCE route and switch lab. Um, years ago I purchased the i &E workbooks and advanced topics videos uh, back when it was version 4. Uh, and with that I also got a lot of uh, rack tokens. Um, this has been my primary study material, uh, at least for the time being. Recently I just got the Cisco 360 workbooks, uh, which I believe they just changed the name of, but um, I, I'm going to keep calling it Cisco 360. I haven't dug too far into those yet, um, just because I need to build those topologies in viral, and uh, I also don't want to not sync too much of my rack tokens into that as well yet. Um, for videos, as I mentioned, I have the INE videos, um, but I also recently added the Layer 3 videos um, that Extreme IE has put out there. Um, and also before they went under, the uh, IP expert has uh, great audio on demand, which are great for listening to while on the road. For reading materials, I've been using, I have a, uh, I have a Safari online books account uh, that gives me access to basically all of the books. Um, read these on my iPads, very convenient, easy to carry around with me and, um, you know, be able to catch up on a few things wherever I am. Uh, there are a few books that I do have in physical form, uh, just because they're not on the Safari online books. The first one is the Developing IP Multicast for Networks. Um, honestly, I think I got this just because of the cover here, um, having all the time, like general rules and timers and everything. Uh, very helpful for that. And the other book I got, which is a non-technical book, is your CCIE success strategy. Um, I've been this was suggested to me. I got it, and honestly, it's a great read, easy to read and uh, something good for your significant other to also get a better understanding as to why you're doing this and what it involves. Um, for labs, I've been using a combination of viral and rack tokens. Um, INEs put all their topologies up in a Git repository, uh, so it, that makes it really easy for switching around between the different pointed labs. Um, for rack tokens, I try to use those more towards full-scale labs. Um, so on the weekends, I'll do a full-scale lab or a troubleshooting or something along those lines where I have a whole dedicated day to that. Throughout the week, I'll do more pointed labs and also work on what I didn't know for the full-scale lab um, on that weekend. And um, what I really like about doing that way is that I can, for the full-scale lab, I can see more topics and try and get all of those done and then see where did I where was I stuck and where did I need to work on? Um, and it just kind of helps refocus me a bit uh, and also gets me used to doing a full-scale lab, what it takes mentally to get there. Um, since my job has me on the road a lot, I also try and take advantage of that time by using the audio on demand. Uh, that's been very useful for what used to be a kind of a, uh, not wasted, but a time where I couldn't be studying, I now can at least be hearing and going through these subjects over and over again. Uh, and then lastly, a part of my study strategy, I've been using the blog. Uh, it helps hold myself publicly accountable and also lets me write up my notes and what I've done uh, for others to see. And um, you know, if anyone has any suggestions as to what else I could add to my, my study strategy or study material, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks.